This video is sponsored by Into the AM. Use my code Kevin Kulix at checkout. You get an additional 10% off, but more on them later. Well, 343 decided to shadow drop an entire event that's going to be running for two weeks, bringing some new content to actually play within the game. And the shop has some interesting choices, so let's not waste any more time and get right into those details. So as we covered previously on the channel here, guys, that the Noble Intentions event happened today. It's where it starts out, and it's been bringing you some bunch of new past content and some new stuff on Halo Waypoint we can go over a little bit later in this video. So the first off I want to showcase is actually going to be the shop, because I'm curious what's going on with this one, because there's some unique choices that they made with it right here. One being the soldier armor set right here, which is available for you. You get the kind of grenadier kind of uh, chest piece right there. A unique coating, a helmet right here for your Spartan, an old helmet attachment, a visor on top of that, and two different shoulder pads that you can see right here. Also a hip attachment, which is definitely unique, and a stance. So. For 700 credits, if you're really into this armor set, it actually might be kind of worth it. This is actually not too shabby of a deal. Your whole armor set on top of a lot of extra customization, which is cool. Now this one is gonna be very interesting. This is the Adrenal Bundle. This bundle might look familiar to a lot of you players out there because this bundle is from the Monster Energy Drink promotions, which I took part of and got a few drinks myself. And I was able to get this battle rifle, which even though now it looks kind of basic, but back in the day, it was pretty cool and unique. Thanks to today's sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM are a team of artists and creators who share a common vision. They see clothing as a canvas to express what drives you. Since 2012, they developed premium apparel that elevates self-expression and provides unparalleled comfort for wherever your passions take you. Into the AM recently sent me some apparel to check out and honestly guys, I'm really enjoying this stuff. I like the art style they put on the shirts and I also got some cool joggers that go with it that fit me really well. If you're not into all the crazy styles, don't worry, they have some simple tees for you as well. They fit great, they feel great, and I genuinely do enjoy their products. If you use my code KevinCollects, you receive an additional 10% off of your purchase. Plus, I get a little kickback and help support the channel as well. Into the AM has been a long time sponsor of the channel, and I genuinely do enjoy their products a lot. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you much Into the AM for sponsoring the video. So let's get right back into those details. And you know, I get a lot of comments when I'm streaming on Twitch, and like, hey, how'd you get that coding? That looks really cool. Because in person, this actually does look great. Looking at this, this angle, not so much. But for only 500 credits, you could have all the different attachments and different type of coatings right there. I kind of skipped over the assault rifle right there, but that one looks pretty clean. You also have the VK-78 Commando, the, M the Sidekick, and you have a couple emblems right there, which is kind of whatever, filler stuff, you know, whatever, yada, 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 yada. But this stuff actually does look pretty cool for different coatings, like pretty clean look to it. Uh, me, personally, I know some people might be a little bent out of shape about that kind of stuff being put into the game because, you know, you bought into those promotions because it's like, it's the cool new thing. Well, you know, it's been over a year now. I'm not too upset about it. I think all I have is the battle rifle, but I mean, it's a simple colors. I'm not too worried about it. You got the Mr. Chief again coming in. I think this is the second week he's actually been in here. Mr. Chief is a pretty awesome little AI character, but for a thousand credits, I think I might pass on this deal because you get that one. You have a new color for your AI. You have the Mr. Chief weapon emblem right here. If you can see my move my camera out of the way, which actually is pretty awesome. But like, again, like for a thousand credits and then a bunch of emblems, like no one really cares about emblems, at least in my opinion. And then last, you get the Firefall helmet. Kind of like an ODST look to this helmet right here. If it decides to load, that would be great. Maybe we back out and click back into it again. There we go. <laughs> Which is a pretty sweet looking helmet, and for only 200 credits, that might be a pickup, honestly. I do have 250, just saying. But, you know, um, I might know, just hold off on it for the most part. But, now the main thing I'm sure you guys are really curious about, what is this event that we have coming in for this week? The event is the Community Collection Playlist for the Noble Intentions, which this Community Playlist here has Forge created maps, but in the matchmaking, the thing that we've been asking for for a long time <laughs> and the, the playlist here we have a different options of different kind of maps i can showcase real quick for you guys we have the map of absolution right here which is a pretty good looking map this one i would say is probably the most forgy looking map out of all of them if that kind of makes sense you can kind of see from this picture and i have some gameplay i'll probably running over this as well showcasing some clips of the map it's very well done uh this is probably again like i said like it looks like a forge map as it maybe not be so visually complete on the art style or at least like the texturing of things but 
plays out very well. It's a fun map to play on. Definitely a unique setup. It's you know they say that here it kind of calls back to Sanctuary and Guardian. So you know you got some classic feels on this map for sure. Uh, the next one we have looking at is Perilous. I played this one previously on stream as well. It's made actually by a former 343 dev uh, who's plays who used to work as part of like the live team during the Halo 5 days who brought you the Mythic Arena playlist. That was kind of like his part of like the creation at 343 during the Halo 5 days. And so you made a map right here. This map definitely has big vibes of like Lockout. It doesn't play out like Lockout, but it definitely has a similar kind of setup. It's kind of like imagine if you had the map Lockout, you kind of basically made a forge around it, but you're like, but how would I make it my own? And that's kind of what they did with this. They did a great job with their art style. This looks like a dev map. I love the integration of the natural formations as well, like the industrial metal look to it. Fantastic map right here. Uh, definitely worth checking out now no we've all covered this one salvation like salvation fantastic remake of damnation with from infinite forges and black picture who is cliff schmidt who works at 343 as well uh i mean there's nothing else to say like i've covered this map previously you've probably seen it around this is hands down the best looking forge map in the game uh if you didn't know this was a forge map you would be like this devs are making crazy stuff right now like no nah, this is just forge and it's a lot of fun to play because it's, well, damnation. It's a proven map. It's fantastic. And the art style is fantastic on it. Again, if you haven't played it, give it, give it, give it definitely give it a go. Now, this one, I actually really enjoy. When I played this one previously, but I wasn't expecting to be put into it. Starboard. Starboard is actually a recreation of the map Midship in Halo Infinite. And the cool thing about Starboard is that they kind of took the idea of Midship and again kind of made it their own, but it definitely plays out like Midship. But there's definitely unique jumps, uh, different kind of angles to check out. You can see in the bottom right here that there's actually a bottomless pit that you can fall in and die in, which is like, probably you might be like, oh man, but like, I wanted to be able to traverse the bottom of the middle of the map like you can in Midship. Like, yeah, that's a nice option, but most of the time if you're walking bottom mid in Midship, you're asking to be killed. Like going for that shotgun bottom mid, it wasn't worth it. Maybe back in Halo 5, but definitely not back in Halo 3 or Halo 2 days. Uh, so that's the total maps we have for this place. Only four maps. That's my biggest gripe with it right now at the moment because it got stale a little quick. I streamed it earlier tonight, you know, played for about three hours and they were great maps. Went very well forged, like dev quality stuff. Uh, but I just kind of wish there was more of it. It doesn't really seem like we're going to have these maps stay within the rotation either, as most likely it's going to be rotated out probably in two weeks once the Noble Intentions event goes away. But not all hope is lost when it comes to Forge content, as 343 does state within this blog right here saying that this is just the beginning of the Community Collections playlist, which will go on to be updated with further community content in the future. We'll have further updates to share, but now you're probably wondering, Kevin, okay, this is all good and all, but how's that event pass? Is that something worth grinding out for? Well, personally, I would say yes, but if you guys really want to see what it looks like, well, here we go. I actually completed this pretty easily. The challenges are super easy, like kill people with UNSC weapons, get needler kills, get I don't know, something like pretty generic stuff, nothing too crazy. Like I guess I was like, if I really struggled, you know, sweated for these challenges, probably get it done in two hours. Uh, but this one, I got it done like in under three hours. So let's kind of go through the list right here. We got the SAP Recon shoulder patch, which I mean, come on, it's amazing. Same thing with the right side as well. We have these pretty sleek looking knee pads. We have a pretty cool coating, the Noble Drifter, which is based off of what was gonna be called the Tom coating, which have some different kind of sets within this right here. This is the Tom A293 kit. Uh, you still cannot modify kits, but uh, they're definitely a cool addition to the game. Uh, this is actually, if you guys don't know, Tom is actually the Spartan that you probably remember seeing in the Halo Reach trailers. Like, he goes up with, like, the bomb, destroys that Covenant Cruiser, and then Noble Six actually replaces that Spartan. Well, that Spartan is, well, this guy right here. This is Tom. So, pretty cool little addition, little lore action right there. Uh, but he didn't exactly look like this. He was a little bit more gray in this color tone, but whatever, you know. And then you have the Noble Offensive coating, which is the coating for... The Rosenda uh, kit right here as well. Again, looks pretty awesome. It actually does have some lore attached to this character as well, which is pretty cool. You have the SAP CDO shoulder pads right here. And then last one, you have the Noble Rose pose. No pun intended on that one, but you get what I'm saying right here. So some really cool stuff to get to check out and play. Now, it was, like I said, pretty easy to get everything unlocked. But again, guys, I gotta just jump in and play this. Uh, looks like this probably will get rotated. No word if these Forge maps will get rotated into these regular matchmaking. 
I hope so, just like for some content to play on. Uh, but there definitely were some bugs or some issues with these maps. Uh, one in particular on Absolution with King of the Hill. There was one thing where I could actually stop the hill capture uh, from above the hill. It was a bit weird. Like, I can actually stop the flag captain right here. Like, right here. <laughs> yeah, I'll just sit right here. Can't score on me when your hill's contested, buddy. <laughs> They're probably so confused. Like, why are we not scoring? <laughs> yeah, go at it, team. Go get them. I got your back. Oh my god, they're so focused on being on the hill. They don't even know. They don't even know. <laughs> I'd be so confused if I was these guys. Like, how are we not capping this kid? It's just broken. Oh god, no. <laughs> now, if you want to know why I'm going to keep playing Halo even throughout 2023, well, check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.